I'm gonna share seven lazy weight loss hacks that helped me lose 50 pounds in three months. First one. Greek yogurt, plain fat-free Greek yogurt, mixed with a teaspoon of sugar-free, fat-free jello pudding mix, it makes the best low calorie fruit dip. If you are craving, you've got a sweet tooth, you're craving desserts, um, and I love putting usually fresh strawberries, but all I have are frozen, so I love dipping like low calorie fruit, like strawberries, it's like 50 calories for one cup. Oh my gosh, you can get chocolate, there's cheesecake, there's vanilla. And one box, when we, I just put a teaspoon of the pudding mix in half a cup to three quarters of a cup of the Greek yogurt. And it gets thick. It gets really thick. It literally tastes like a fruit dip. Um, one box goes a long way. Like you can see we've taped this up because we portion everything out. Oh my gosh, like you guys are gonna love this. And the Greek yogurt has protein in it, so it's gonna help you stay full if you have a big appetite like me and Sassy. And pairing it with low cal fruit like strawberries, you're gonna love it, trust me. Number two, dessert tea. Okay, this is called dessert tea because that's what I search on Amazon, dessert tea. But Sassy and I, okay, these hacks didn't just help me lose 50 pounds in three months, they helped me go on to lose a total of 130 pounds and keep it off for eight years. And sassy, Kyle, my husband too. Um, this and we is were a mess, so we needed lots of help and lots of bridges to get us through the tough days in the beginning. Yes. And still now we use all these. Yes, and that's why I just ordered this one because we're starting a little mini cut for the Christmas holidays. And we did this from the very beginning. When you have a sweet tooth and you are craving sweets like I crave sweet it's like crazy at nighttime especially well tea has barely any calories in it it comes in a ton of flavors and desserty kind of flavors and you can get caffeine free because if you're get wired like me you don't need extra caffeine like this is perfect it literally tastes like dessert the liquid fills your belly up and it's just a beautiful thing especially when it's cold outside because we live in canada and missy truscott actually reminded me of this because we haven't done it in a while um she's two-time miss fitness olympia going to try to win her third one so let's root for missy this one i just got this on amazon it's chai maple pecan and we have another one coming tomorrow it's like coconut white chocolate this is a lifesaver like and if you're in the states you'll have like way more way options more. than we do in canada but we still get a bunch like there was that other brand too that we used to get stash stash and yeah mm -hmm. yeah we just we look what we look for is like a really good dessert flavor where it says, you know, zero to very few calories. And then um, usually herbal or caffeine free, just because we like to have it at night. So we don't want to be up all night like. <laughs> <laughs> we already do that with anxiety, so we don't need extra caffeine to go, uh. No, we don't. The next one, number three, is, um, somebody's ruining my notes here. Um, there, funny call. What are those called? Spam Solicitor calls. friends. <laughs> yeah. <It's> fine. <laughs> I made notes on my phone. Um, okay, number three is... Popular with the food police. Very. But what you do is, instead of removing your favorite foods when you're about to lose weight, what we did was we switched it out for a low calorie option. So we literally ate, we went through a pound of butter a week when we were, you know, trying to lose weight before we started our journey. So we didn't want to give it up, but we knew we had to lower the calories. So instead of giving up butter, we switched to margarine. And we literally have done this this morning for our mini cut and switching from two teaspoons of butter to two teaspoons of margarine saved me 35 calories and Kyle eats three, so he saved himself 52 calories just by making the switch. And we had to remind ourselves that we were dieting because we forgot because it didn't feel like we switched or did anything different. So instead of giving up your favorite things, try a lower calorie version. And it feels like um, when we do that, like we do it with like, sometimes we'll have powdered peanut butter instead of the regular to save cows. Like it doesn't feel like you're missing out. And it, if you forget that you're dieting, 
that's how you know your diet's good. And that's why we've been able to keep the weight off for so long. Number four is like, you're like, you're going like, okay, you're holding pickles. Like it's like your lifesaver. It is. If you have salty or savory cravings, or you just like to eat food, like you're hungry all the time and you need like a low cal food that's gonna make you feel like you're eating a lot, baby dill pickles. These ones from, um, from Walmart, the great value baby dill, they are only two pickle, two pickles is five calories. Kyle and I eat these every day and I chop the two in half and it makes it four and it makes me feel like I'm eating a lot. Check out the low uh, calorie charcuterie board we did a video a while ago. Pickles are on it. And also get the no garlic because then you won't have a bloated sore belly. Oh yeah, we found that garlic bloats us. So we always get the baby dill tangy no garlic. And that helps us like not feel yucky in the belly. But if I'm hungry and I only have a couple of calories left over in my calories for the day, pickles. I can eat two of them for five calories. Like it is, and I love it because it makes me feel like I'm eating a lot and it's pickles. Like They're good size too. They are. So yes, oh, like an angel that was. Next one, chocolate. I can't live without chocolate. So when I have a chocolate craving and I'm trying to lose weight, this really helped me like to lose the 50 pounds in three months. And like we did that, combined these hacks with portion control and we had a lot of weight to lose. So combining these with portion control, we dropped weight really quickly for the first like three months. But did these ever help? So instead of eating a chocolate bar, which can be, you know, a lot of calories, we buy the milk chocolate chips. Sometimes we buy the mini because you, it feels like you get more, but um, these milk chocolate chips, a teaspoon, let me just show you. And like that, and I can throw them on protein pancakes, in oatmeal, on my yogurt, in the fruit, the homemade fruit dip. And it really gives me that, it's only like 26, 27 calories for a teaspoon. And it feels like a dream that I get to eat chocolate and still stay on a diet. And then this stuff, we don't get access very easily to low calorie or zero calorie chocolate sauce. So I found using this one. And if you only use a teaspoon, it's only 17 calories. This is the Nesquik less sugar chocolate syrup. Like it's the chocolate milk syrup, but it's lower in sugar and a teaspoon is only 17 cows. We put it on protein ice cream. You can mix it in Greek yogurt to flavor it chocolatey, protein pancakes, anything. It's so good and it satisfies the chocolate craving. Oh, I like it. A little goes a long way with both of these things. Really does. The next one, this literally saved our lives and that is sugar-free low calorie jello. We always look for the one that says sugar-free and that says like five calories per serving or like, you know, very low cows. But anyway, there's eight servings in the box. So the whole box, five calories a serving, the whole box is 40 calories. Um, and it comes in a ton of flavors. And in the States, like you guys get way more options, but we get a lot of good ones here too. Um, the whole box is 40 calories. And sometimes we top it with like the fat-free Cool Whip because it's only 25 cows, but we ran out of that stuff. This makes a huge bowl and it really fills you up and satisfies your sweet tooth. And when, when I seen the portion that I could eat of low calorie Jello when I was starting to lose weight, I just, it felt like, wow, I can actually do this because there's something that's gonna satisfy me and keep me full and make me feel like I'm not dieting. And this, this was the key. Okay, number seven, the last one. Put a snack, a low cal portion snack or a low calorie drink in your tricky spot. Everybody's got a tricky spot. Kyle and mine was late at night. Our biggest problem for late night was overeating. Um, we struggled after dinner and in between the last like snack before we went to bed when we were watching TV, that was the hardest part. That was when we tended to overeat. So because we knew that, we put a snack there that was planned. Sometimes it was Smart Pop, sometimes like it was the Jello or the fruit dip. Um, if we had no calories left, we did a drink, 
a diet pop because the carbonation helps fill your belly and pop diet pop comes in so many flavors it'll satisfy um, the sweet tooth and also like sometimes we add in Tarani sugar-free vanilla syrup with this too and it flavors it extra Another thing I like as a, a snack is protein cereal. I think you guys don't get this in the States, but you get different protein cereals. But anyway, a cup of this is 160 calories and it has 10 grams of protein in it. Sorry, I'm showing you the French side. And it has 10 grams of protein for one cup and that's a really good for cereal and protein helps lower your hunger hormone ghrelin. So that helps me stay full. It satisfies my sweet tooth and it just, um, it stops me from overeating. We so. try to get as much protein as possible. So like we know it's not like loaded with protein, the cereal, but you combine but, that, the, uh, 0% Greek yogurt, and we'll show you our favorite protein powder mixed yes. all in with fruit, and you got a, a whole lot of protein. And something like a protein cereal, it does actually keep me full when I eat this. So anything to make me feel like I'm not depriving myself and like I can snack on or drink, you know, a, a lovely diet drink when I'm watching a movie, it makes me feel like I'm not missing out. This gives me too, um, kind of like a granola parfait yes. craving when I combine it with the fruit, yogurt, and protein powder. We do actually make protein like Greek yogurt bowls too. And we use um, we use this, this is Huddled. it's HTLT steps. They have the literally the best tasting protein powder ever. This is maple cookie and it is so good in flavoring Greek yogurt. And it actually makes a really good like fruit dip, Greek yogurt bowl, anything like we put this literally in everything. Code Nicole will save you 10% and the link is down below. I want to um, show you two bonus things, but if you want to know like the exact portions and meals that I ate to lose the weight, you can buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50. The link is down below and Code Nicole will save you 10%. So here's a couple bonuses. Unsweetened applesauce. It's 60 calories for half a cup and we love it if you have a sweet tooth, if you need a low calorie snack that's gonna keep you full, this is the go-to. Plus it's great for topping like applesauce. Um, Kyle says he loved putting it on toast with margarine, with the margarine on it. You said it's great for topping applesauce. I said it's great for topping applesauce. <laughs> I meant protein pancakes. It's great, it's, yep. It's great for top, I've been up since five. Don't worry, I'll, I'll edit that out. It's great for topping protein pancakes, oatmeal, waffles, like anything like that. Sometimes I mix it in Greek yogurt too. Kyle likes topping the applesauce like on toast and stuff. So um, that's a great one. And another one is chicken broth. It's 10 calories for one cup. So what I love to do is like heat it up and pour myself a cup in a cute mug and liquid helps fill your belly up. So this is like a beautiful snack at night. You're low on cows, but you need to eat something. This is so great. It has helped me stop like overeating many times. So those are the bonuses. And I think that's it, sweetheart. Anything else? No. no. And I'm not editing that out, I like. No, we keep it in because it's cute. <laughs> Top, Top your it. applesauce with applesauce. And look at my tree. <laughs> they, they know about it. They know, you know about my tree. Okay, cuties. Um, <laughs> <laughs> weight loss should not be a punishment. Um, these are lazy weight loss hacks because I don't have to do anything. There's no prep. And I've always stuck best to things that are super easy for me to do and to stick to for long periods of time. So that's why these work. And they help me make weight loss not a punishment, but make it feel like I'm not dieting at all. So I hope that you guys get inspired, you enjoy this video, and you see that you don't have to hate what you're eating. And there are lots of things out there that can really help satisfy your cravings if you're craving something. Watch this vid and this vid for more sustainable fun weight loss tips and probably me flubbing all my words. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for your support. We love you. I'll catch you in the next vid. Cue to Rudy. Peace out. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.